two enchantment levels or is it 12? Let's find out. It was only two! Oh! Ah, good day everyone and welcome back to another One Life episode. So, now that we're past the fifth episode, things are going to kind of slow down a bit. In the first five episodes, I really just wanted to compact as much as I could to prepare ourselves for the rest of this journey. So these next episodes are probably not going to be as like packed full of doing 12 billion things. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's not going to take me 12 and a half billion years to do these things. Uh, so today I thought it'd be cool if we fortified our base by creating a giant wall slash fence thing around our property just so we can like walk outside and not be freaking out every 10 seconds so um since we have 12 billion cobblestones i thought it'd be cool if we did a cobblestone wall mixed with some bits of wood uh but we have literally a whole entire chest full of just cobblestone right there so we have a lot to work with so um Let's head outside. Let's see kind of like our perimeter of what we want to accomplish. Uh, so let's make some marks. Uh, I want it to be pretty big actually. So how about we start here and then we go a bunch this way. Oh crap, we're running into her house. Well, we were here first. Ooh, this pond would actually be really nice to have within our land. So let's go like this, just because if we want to go fishing and stuff. So let's cut back like that, and then we'll go this way. I think this is going to take up all the cobblestone, which is fine. We have a lot of it. Okay, so this is a big area we're going to be enclosing, so I'm kind of freaking out. So I think what I'm going to do is do a complete layer of this cobblestone as the base. Um, I can't decide. I think just one level is enough, and then, I don't know. Like, I'm wondering, should it be two layers high? Probably. And then a fence on top? I think so. So it'd be kind of like this, and then on top of it, I'll put a wooden fence. And then I'll also add in some, like, wooden features as well. Oh, oh. already out of my first stack of cobblestone. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to go around and completely enclose my house with this cobblestone. I will be back after I'm done with that. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. So I've created a pretty big border around my home. It's gorgeous. It's not finished yet, though. I just went and I got a bunch of wood, but I was looking at different fences to make sure I'm going to choose the right one. I've been using oak for my house, but I came across some spruce trees and I was like, hmm, I wonder what spruce trees would look like as fences. And they're green. That's a spruce fence. It's this green. It's like one of my favorite color greens. So I want to see what it looks like in person. So that's what we're about to do. Here, let's make some oak sticks. Or I guess they're just regular sticks. And now let's see. Ooh, the spruce wood is actually real pretty. Well, it's kind of dull. Okay, let's see what it looks like. As It's weird that it goes from brown to green for the fence, but... Who am I to judge? Spruce fence. Okay, let's just take one before we go a little too crazy. Oh, I love that color. I love that. Oh, interesting. That's unique. Do I like it for my... I think I... Oh my god, I actually am obsessed with this color. I don't know if I like the little lines, but where's the sun? Oh, we some time in the day. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go make some more. Oh my god, I literally have so many cows out there. Hi, cow family! Oh my gosh, okay. Well, let's go see. Let's compare and contrast. Um, I'm also gonna make a really cute gate in the front, like a big stone, like, I don't know, castle type thing. Alright, let's see what this looks like. Ooh, this is actually really cute, just like that. Okay, now let's compare it to the green. It's, it's different. I mean, I think it's cute, actually. I like it because I feel like that's just kind of like a little too plain. Wow, interesting. 
Okay, and now I wonder if I did one more up, would that look... Well, that's kind of cute. I kind of like it like that. Okay, but I need to decide, do I want double cobblestone or just single? I kind of like the double. I, I feel a little bit more protected that way too. Okay, it's been decided. I'm gonna go with the spruce. Um, thank you for your input. Even though I couldn't hear what you said, we're going with the green just because it's my favorite color and I'm kind of over just the brown and stone. And this is kind of fun. It spruces it up. <laughs> oh wow, that was a good one, Joey. It spruces it up. Get it? Can it spruce tree? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to bed. And when I come back, this whole fence is going to be green and gorgeous. Okay, update time. I have been hard at work. Okay, so I added some more details to the fence all the way around. I added a bunch of lamps, put in all the fences, and then I added staircase uh, little details, and now I'm working on the front gate. So, while I've been doing this, I've been trying to make it a little more interesting. I'm not the best builder, um, but I'm trying, I'm learning, uh, but I think it would be cool if I make this into like a modi type of thing to have like a drawbridge type feel um so i'm gonna turn this into like pools of water over here um on each side so i need to go to town with digging and then go get a bunch of buckets of water and just like fill this all up i think it'll just be like this area and then maybe oh crap if i wanted to fill this whole thing in that'd be crazy i don't know <laughs> i'm gonna get back to work uh i will check in with you guys in a little bit Hello and welcome back, Joey, because I've been away for a while. Uh, I just uh, want to update you guys with what I've been working on. So, as you guys know, I created the greatest wall, aside from the Great Wall of China, of course. Uh, this is the Great Wall of Joey. So, I've built this and... I've built a gorgeous little bridge. And uh, like I said before, I was going to make the two moats on the side, which I did. It actually didn't take as long as I thought it was going to, uh, but I am so obsessed with this. So I've just kind of been uh, working on this and then creating a path towards uh, the center of town. So I took a water bucket and I just kind of like cleared the land of any plants because uh, I don't want to run into any thorns. So I've just kind of been clearing the path. So I have a clear shot to uh, the spawn, which I don't know why I need to go there, but in case I ever do or people need to find where I live, um, they can. Oh, people live over here. I'm always afraid to go to people's houses because we all record different times and uploading different and like, I don't know. I don't want to spoil anyone else's stuff going on, so I don't really like going into people's homes, but maybe I can ask people if it's okay. Uh, but I'm totally obsessed with this entrance. I think it's amazing. Uh, if I ever get a horse, which I want to, I can just open these two and just glide right on in. It's tall enough. Um, yeah, I just feel really protected from the outside world. I'm not going to be afraid to leave because... I'm protected on all sides, and when I go out, I know that there are water things on both those sides. I think I'll probably make like towers, like light towers or something on either side, so I know for sure nothing's going to spawn there. Um, but I'm being super paranoid anyways. So yeah, this is pretty much my home, and I feel so secure and so safe. Uh, I think next, what I want to do is feel even more protected by creating an ultimate sword. Although, I guess we've actually already made one of those in Crazy Crap. Uh, that's not the name of it, ultimate sword. Um, it's called something iron. It's like a crazy ultimate iron sword or something. What is it? Advanced iron sword. So currently I have a sharpness one diamond sword that does eight damage. This advanced iron sword does 14 damage. So basically, almost double, uh, which is absolutely freaking crazy. So, all we need is a little bit of iron, which we definitely, definitely have a thousand pieces of iron, if 
not more. Um, okay, maybe not a thousand, but here, let's store some of our things. Let's clear up our bag and let's make this crazy sword. Okay, my backpack is a total mess, so we're just not gonna look in there. Okay, so 64. I don't know how much it takes. Okay, so let's see what it requires. It requires... Okay, wow, okay. Eight blocks of iron with an iron sword in the center. So it's not really that much. It's definitely doable. So eight blocks of iron. Um, I finally learned how to equally distribute these things. I saw some of your comments being like, Joey, that's not how you do it. So it's, I've been going like this and just kind of spreading it. I didn't realize if you just left click like this, it spreads it out. Like what the heck? Okay, so we just need one, two, Oh wait, we need eight. What am I doing? I need more in here. Eight. And then an iron sword. Do we have one of those? You know what? I probably enchanted it. Maybe I'll just make another one. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're gonna make this crazy advanced iron sword. Fabulous. Oh my gosh. Fourteen. That's actually insane. I'm going to destroy with this. Oh my gosh, I want to go outside and kill, but also I don't because it's too scary out there. You know what? I'll kill one of the cows. It normally takes me two hits for the cow, but I guess now it will only take one. Woo! One hit wonders! Yeah! Bye. Goodbye. 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 Thank you so much for your sacrifice so I can have books to enchant. I'm going to meet a bunch of them and then I'll slaughter. So sad. Okay, well, I feel extremely protected with my new one-hit sword. It's gonna be so amazing if I ever go back in the caves or anywhere else, for that matter, and I need to kill things, I will be able to. Okay, let's store... Oh. What does this chest turn into? Kind of just like a miscellaneous chest. We'll keep our sword in there for now. Kind of just throw everything in here, because my chest is a mess. Not my chest. My backpack. Oh my god, we can make so many books. <gasps> should we enchant books? Oh my god, we should! Let's do it! Okay, cool! Fine! Yeah, totally! I'm totally down. We have 14 leather. <gasps> oh, gorgeous. Okay, where's the paper at? <gasps> oh, I just love my land so much. I have such big plans for my like compound i guess like i want to have a horse stall i want to have a wolf pet stall um i want to do like a fishing farm literally so many things to fill up this place like i want it to feel kind of like a mini town in here <gasps> maybe i'll even have a shop oh my god i'm so excited okay also you guys can leave me some suggestions of what you want me to do with my property since i have so much of it oh, i can't wait uh okay what was i doing oh books yes <gasps> 14 books holy crap we can enchant so much okay so now that i have full enchanting up here let's see what is possible <sighs> I need to just have damn lapis up here in a chest constantly 24 7. Where's my damn lapis, everyone? Hello? Let's keep the lapis downstairs. I'm taking it all upstairs. It's being imported into this chest for now. Okay. <gasps> a level 30? Oh my god. <laughs> What's this? <sighs> Protection 3. I mean, that sounds actually really nice, but I'm not gonna spend 30 of my levels for that. Sweeping edge, I don't know what a sweeping edge is. Wow, everything costs so much more money now. Like, I'm not gonna spend $5 for a sharpness one, are you kidding? Silk touch for 30? That's how much it costs? Dang, I do need a silk touch, do I? No, <gasps> a fortune one. A fortune one! I need, I need that. That's 12 levels though. But I don't care. That's what I've been needing. Like, I need to do that. Okay. We'll be right back. Thank you so much. I'm just going to go consult with my consultant and we'll be right back. Thank you so much. It was lovely talking with you. Okay, listen up. This is what we have to do. We need to make ourselves a new damn fresh to death pickaxe. Do I have the sticks? I sure do. Fresh new pickaxe. I need a little fortune in my life. 12, I feel like 12 levels is a lot. So basically why I want to do fortune is because I have a bunch of ore down in my mine. And if you have fortune, you get more diamonds and gold and all that stuff. I think gold, maybe not golds. 
Maybe just diamonds. And then what do I need diamonds for, actually, though? I have so much. You know what? YOLO, am I right or am I right? Wait, why is it saying it's only two enchantment levels? Oh, <gasps> no, that's level! Oh my god! Wait, huh? You know what? We're gonna do a test. Is this two enchantment levels or is it 12? Let's find out. It was only two! <gasps> Wow, well, this whole time I thought I was gonna have to spend 30 of my levels. Okay. Hold on. This looting! What's looting? I don't know, but it sounds delicious. A knockback. <gasps> knockback would be so good. You know what? Why am I enchanting these things? I need to be enchanting my books. Efficiency, efficiency, aqua affinity. I don't. Do I need that? I might. Efficiency? I don't need efficiency. Uh, aqua affinity sounds cool. We'll just do an efficiency too. Okay. Felling. <gasps> What's felling? Hold on. I need to look these things up because I am shook. <gasps> oh my god. It cuts down an entire tree down at once. I'm getting that. I need that for making things. Heck yeah. That's going to be so helpful. But it's three levels. I don't care. I need that felling. <laughs> Hello, felling. Welcome to the family. You know what? I need to empty my chest. There's a lot going on. Okay, fabulous. Hi, I'm back. Oh my god. Enchanting is so much fun. Okay. What else you got? Power four. Power. What does power do? Because that's not sharpness. What does power? Power seems powerful. What does that do? Oh, power. That's for um a bow. Let's get it. Let's get it for our bow that we have nothing on. <gasps> Gorgeous. Okay, power four. That's a that's a strong bow. Thank you. <gasps> oh. It requires 30 levels to even consider such a thing. Blast protection, efficiency, as if. I don't want any of these things. I already have the felling. Alright, fine, I'll do efficiency. Allure. <gasps> What's allure do? Guys, I'm like. <laughs> I don't enchant. This is like the first time I've done this. Lure. The lure enchantment increases the rate of fishing, a fish biting your hook. You can add a lure enchantment to any fishing rod. Well, that's kind of... I don't need that, do I? Yeah, I don't want that. I want. I don't want fish, I want treasure. Is that the same thing? Oh, okay, yeah. I need luck of the sea. I don't need lure. Sharpness too. That is pretty good. I guess I'll go with that one. Need a sharpness two. A sharpness two and a sharpness two makes a sharpness three. Yes, give it to me, right? That makes a sharpness three. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so sharp. Okay, so now that we have all these things, oh, first of all, let's sleep. Actually, I want to take a look outside my window. <gasps> okay, I need to light up my land better because there is a Skeletor outside. And, oh, multiple? No, that's the same one. Okay. Huh. Must be nice to be in my property. I feel like we should also bring the anvil upstairs, and we need a chest for our enchantments. I think I'm going to change this into an enchantment place as opposed to the plants. So I'm going to take all the plants outside, or outside of this chest anyways. And this is going to be transitioned into something cooler. Burn, everyone, burn! Yes, it's good for you. Okay, let's bring this anvil upstairs. Come with me, fabulosa. Okay, and then let's put the anvil right there. Come with me, my children, my gorgeous enchantment enchantresses. Okay, let's put everything in here. Wow, oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm just getting into enchanting. This is so cool. Okay, so let's see. Power one, let's put that over here. Efficiency and unbreaking. Power two. Sharpness one. Power, ooh, power four. If I did two power fours, I could have a power five. That's a lot. That's a big commitment. Okay, sharpness two. Put the sharpness in a row. Oh, I was like... 
what happened to my fortune, but it's on here. I have my fortune. Oh, I have efficiency too and a fortune on this one. Okay, perfect. So, oh my gosh, sharpness three would be really good, but I want sharpness four. So we're just gonna keep these in here. I'm gonna go down into the depths and get all the things that I wanted to get, but couldn't because I didn't have my fortune. So, Come with me, we'll go downstairs, and we will go... Oh god, I forgot that I made... This was off camera, guys. I was like, oh, I'm gonna put a thing here for the nether. But then... I'm never going back in there, so... All right, so I'm excited. I actually don't think I've even showed you guys the mines where I was like, branch mining so welcome everyone this is exciting this is like what i did a lot of my time with <laughs> um you know just trying to find lots and lots of goodies um and it's so easy to get lost down here i need to find it's gonna probably take me a little to actually find the things that i need to to mine damn i should have marked these better <laughs> Oh, here's one. Okay, perfect. Let's see how much I get from one. I only got one diamond. Oh, that one gave me two. Oh, that one gave me two as well. Wow. Oh my gosh, so many diamonds from that one thing. Okay, perfect. Loves it. Thank you. Okay, I have like more though. Like, those, that was definitely not the only one. Oh. Here's some Goldilocks. Now I don't know if it works on gold, so let's try it. Okay. Okay, it definitely worked on that first one. Oh no, you know what? Maybe that was just one of the thick ones. Okay, so it definitely doesn't work on this. So that's, that's unfortunate because gold is more important than diamonds. I actually don't even think we really need diamonds except for like tools, but huh. Okay, here's more diamonds. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So from six, we should get 16 total. So let's see what we get. <laughs> Interesting, because we got, we didn't have much fortune now, did we? <laughs> okay, that's cool. Where are my other diamonds? How many more of these things do I have? Oh, this makes me mad. I just kept them down here. <sighs> okay. Well, you know what? I'll be back. I'll be back. I will. Okay. I think I found the last thing of diamonds that I marked out. So we were at 16, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 plus 16 is... 24 I should get. <gasps> oh, we got four extra diamonds because of this gorgeous little pickaxe. So that's, I guess, worth it. Um, I'm pretty sure that was the last little group. Alrighty, so we can head back upstairs. We didn't get that much experience, but I am so freaking excited about all my new diamonds. How many do I have now? Oh my gosh, that's actually insane. I must have... Let's take a look, shall we? Ooh, 52! Wait! Something to look forward to is, you know how we have the extreme version of the iron sword? They have the same with 24 attack. Holy moly. Okay, with 24 attack, I mean with that, the, the, uh, so I think I need 80 diamonds. And I have 52. If, this is why I needed this enchantment, yes! Oh my gosh, okay. Speaking of enchantments, I wanna go back upstairs and enchant more. Come on, big money, big money. Come on, give me some money. Efficiency, don't care, don't care. Sharpness three sounds delectable. 
don't have 30 levels. Okay, we'll come back at a different time when I have more levels available. Thank you so much for being so patient with me. <sighs> wow, I have a lot of gold. So much gold, yang yang. I'm going to smelt this iron just so I can gain my levels. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, welcome back again, everyone. So it's the following day, and I've been hard at work at my gate, or I should say my wall gates. So I made a couple more entrances. I made one in the back uh, for when I need to go out the back door. I can just go out there. There's a double layer of fence, so I'm super protected. And then I just have one over here as well. This one's kind of like a mini one. It's not like as intense. It's just like a little side gate type thing, and I should probably light this up as well. Um, I've lit up most of my property and I've noticed it's definitely helped out a lot with uh, keeping mobs out from like coming in um, so yeah let's take a look out here it's like another drawbridge type thing uh, so I have a moat on both sides here oh my god hello villagers it's a pool party over here I feel like they're all being drawn in because it's just like so safe here a Fletcher 20 string oh I haven't found one emerald, so I don't know what the heck they're talking about. They're like, yeah, give us one emerald. Yeah, right! Those are like the rarest things in the game for string. I don't think so. Hi, can I trade you? Villager. <gasps> wheat! Oh, I have so much wheat. 19 wheat for one emerald. Ooh. <gasps> Potato 17. Oh, yes. Carrots? Oh, my goodness. And then you want to trade an emerald for bread? I don't think so, Mr. Farmer. Wow. I literally have so much wheat. So, 20. That's kind of a lot of wheat for an emerald. Whatever, we'll keep them around. That's fine. Okay. So, yeah, we have this. Um, I want to bring those villagers inside my place to make, like, a cute little village. Uh, so then we have the back door, which is also similar. I have a little moat around each side. And that's pretty much just to, like, protect me while I'm walking out. Like, I don't want to be attacked to, like... I mean, I guess if there was a skeleton, it would still attack me. But, uh, this is a cute little back door. Double entrance, super secure, all lit up. And then we're back inside our property. So, I have a lot of plans for this whole land stuff. Um, just, this is going to be the majority of the series probably because, um, I don't know. I've never done, like, a survival type series like this. So, I'm excited to create my own little, like... I don't even know what to call it, like a compound or like a my own little village. Have my house in the center and then it will be surrounded by little places. Maybe I'll do a shop too. Uh, probably more farmland. I want to have a place for wolves so I can have a bunch of wolves. Um, and then a place for horses, which I think I'm going to get a horse in the next episode. Just because Stacy was saying, if you're on a horse, you don't take damage, which I had no idea. So whenever I go out adventuring, I should be on a horse. So I'm super happy with my property. I feel so much more safe and much better about everything. So if you guys are enjoying this series, please give it a big old thumbs up and let me know some suggestions of things you want to see within this compound. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you all tomorrow. Good damn bye!